Good morning, brothers and sisters. Down here at the waterfront. Absolutely beautiful day. Low humidity out. Praise the Lord. The boats are way down there. Okay, this is going to be a real serious video here. Look at those, the, the sun shining on the water. It just looks just like diamonds. It is so beautiful out there. I don't know if you can see it or not. But, um, okay, I just wanted to talk about something here for a while and give my own testimony about this for a while, too, in the hopes that it might help somebody. And Holy Spirit, just lead me to speak your words during this. Just give me your inspiration, Father God, because I just really want this to help someone, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, I just needed a all of a sudden pray a little prayer right there for help i need help making my videos um regarding the subject of feeling very empty inside um i'm currently and, and for the past like four months have been dealing with somebody i don't even think the person is sub to me but i've been trying to minister to someone and help someone for the past four months who keeps having these suicidal impulses and you know it's a very serious situation um i would ask that you would please pray for this person i'll just give the initial m m is in mary please pray for m um this person is dealing with very very low self-esteem it's very painful for me to minister to him my my heart just breaks for him because he is like a picture of my past life. You know, uh, I had extremely low self-esteem. Very, very low self-esteem. You know, my self-worth and my self-esteem were like, you know, the bottom of the barrel. And just as this person is doing, um, I placed my self-esteem in my self-worth to me at that time. When I was younger, my self-worth was determined by what others thought of me. Okay, I wasn't walking with the Lord. And, you know, what others thought of me was everything to me. And I was ridiculously shy. I was pathologically shy. I've said this in videos before. I actually had some social phobia. I was pathologically shy. And my self-esteem was just like rock bottom. And so, when your self-esteem is real low like that, you inevitably attract just like a magnet. You attract the wrong people to yourself. Okay? You won't attract someone good, a good person, and a ba well-balanced person. You won't attract that type of person to yourself until your self-esteem is raised up, you know, until you become normal. <laughs> and uh, it took me a long time to become normal, and only by the grace of God, through developing a close, personal, deep, deep relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, that's how I was healed. That's how I was healed from it. And He totally healed me. But I can remember what it felt like back then, what it felt like to place your self-worth on other people and what other people thought of you. And I worried too much about what others thought of me, you know, because I had no self-esteem. And um, it, it's a really, really terrible condition to be in because you, you attract you know, con like for instance, control freaks. You attract every control freak that comes down the pike to you. If you're too submissive, if you have no self-esteem, you know, it, it's just not going to work until you're healed. You, ha you have to be healed first before you can attract that great person to you. And I thank the Lord Jesus Christ, and I attribute all my healing to the Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to God. He showed me who I was in Christ Jesus. He showed me that I was His precious child and that, you, you know, my self-worth grew. And, and I'm not talking about being prideful or something, but I'm just talking about having a normal self-worth. 
that, you know, I knew that I was worth something in his eyes because he loved me, because of his great love for me. And because, you know, of knowing and recognizing and realizing that I am a child of God. You know, the Lord put me here for a purpose. He has a divine purpose and a divine plan for my life. You know, the Lord has big plans for you. You are worth something to him. You are worth, he loves you. It's just unspeakable how, how much he loves you. He has a plan for your life. And you can't fill up that emptiness in your heart. You know, my, my heart was just so empty. My inner being, I was just so empty. Uh, you know, you feel the need, when you're like that, you feel the need to grasp onto someone, like get into a relationship too soon, you know, and, uh, you know, just get into a relationship with anybody that comes down the pike and acts nice to you. You know, you just jump into a relationship and it's just not mentally healthy. <laughs> it just is so unhealthy because, and you're doing it because of this emptiness inside. You know, the only thing, and I can tell you that nothing can fill, nothing in this world can fill up that hole in your heart and that emptiness inside except for Jesus except for a close personal relationship with Jesus. You're not going to fill up that hole inside. You're not going to fill up that loneliness inside unless you come to him and you submit yourself to him daily and you seek him daily all throughout the day. Try to pray without ceasing. When you come close to him, he's going to heal you of that because he will show you who you are in his eyes. Okay? He'll show you that you're a precious child of God. You are worth something. You matter. You are a precious child of His. You are here for a divine purpose. And you cannot fill up that hole in your heart through seeking drugs or liquor or, or grabbing on to the wrong person. You know, the, the Bible says that he who... He who uh, puts father, mother, sister, or brother, son, or daughter above me is not worthy of me. You know, Jesus comes first. He says that we're not worthy of him if we put other people and things first. We're not to put other people. I don't care even if it's your wife or your husband or even your child. He says son or daughter. Okay, you're to put no one ahead of Jesus Christ in your life. You're to put Jesus Christ as the priority. He's the priority. He comes first. Then your family next. Then your job third. Your job and whatever else comes third. But Christ should be always kept first. This is what the Bible instructs us to do. Is to let Him be first in our lives. And uh, I'm getting, I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted by this guy having fun out there. I wish I was on a jet ski also. <laughs> but um, anyway, yeah, you have to put Christ first in your life, you know, if you want to be healed of this. Believe me, you cannot. I used to go out with the girls and, and drink, you know have a few uh, drinks on the weekend or something when I was young too. Believe me, that does not satisfy. There's nothing in this world that will satisfy you or alleviate that loneliness in your heart, that empty feeling. You feel like you have a hole in your heart. Christ is the only one that can heal your heart. Okay? Things on this earth cannot. And people on this earth, they cannot heal you either. Okay, only seeking Jesus with all your heart. Okay, only doing that is the answer. Okay, and I know people that put their, their spouse above Jesus Christ. You can't do that. Of course you love them. Of course you love them. You know, they're, they're your significant other, you know, and of course you love them, but you can't put... Christ after them. You have to put Christ before them. 
Okay, Christ always has to be the supreme priority in your life. And if you want to be healed of low self-esteem, then you need to seek Jesus with all your heart. You need to run after Jesus Christ with all your heart and all your strength. Because he's the only one that can fill up that emptiness inside you. You who are seeking after drugs and, and uh, you know, relationships, drugs, relationships, liquor, whatever, you know, you who are trying to fill up that hole in your heart through that, it's not going to work. That is not going to work. I used to go out, like I said, with the girlfriends on the weekend and have a few drinks. And, uh, you know, it, it doesn't satisfy. It doesn't satisfy. Not at all. You know, that might distract you for a while. You might think it's quote-unquote fun, you know. But once you see the truth of Jesus Christ, you realize that's a very lame and very shabby, shabby substitute for Jesus Christ. Okay, this world has nothing to offer you. This world has nothing to offer you in the way of, of you know, solving that problem of feeling empty inside. The only solution to the problem is Jesus Christ. I can promise you that. I'm an older lady. I've been through a lot in my life. I have been through a whole lot in my life due to my low self-esteem in the past. And I can tell you, take it from me, please. You're not going to fill up that hole in your heart and that emptiness inside any other way. There's no other way than coming close to Jesus. And once you do that, he's going to fill you full of joy. I mean joy unspeakable. He's going to just fill your heart full of joy. No matter what's going on in your life, you're going to have that joy in your heart too. Okay, you might go through many, many terrible things, but you're always going to have that joy that you can come to Jesus Christ, that you can talk to him like a friend. He is your best friend. He is the best friend you will ever have. And you can always lean on you. He said that he would never leave you or forsake you. He will always be there for you. Your friends may come and go, and they will, and they will. The closer you draw to Jesus Christ, too, you're going to lose some friends. But he is the friend that will never desert you. He is the friend that will always be there for you. That you can always talk to him, and, and he will comfort you in times of trouble. He, would, he will send the comforter to you in times of trouble. I can promise you this. Okay, there is nothing, nothing in this world can take the place of a deep relationship with Jesus Christ, a personal relationship. I'm talking about reading your Bible each day, and I'm talking about praying throughout the day. I'm talking about talking to him like you'd talk to your best friend, because he is. Okay, I'm not talking about a lukewarm Christian, somebody that's sitting their butt in a church pew each week, and they think they're good to go. No, that's not going to get you much of anywhere. I'm talking about developing that close personal relationship with Him. There's nothing on this earth that's going to satisfy you like that. Okay? Absolutely nothing. So, you know, I don't know what else to say except that if you want to be healed from having low self-esteem, if, if you want to... Uh, find the way, the way, there's only one way to fill up that hole in your heart and that emptiness inside. And it's not trying to seek somebody for a relationship. It's not through drugs and alcohol and uh, other distractions. It's through Jesus Christ. So please give your heart to him today, okay? And if you don't know Jesus Christ, if, if you're ready to submit to him, if you're ready to turn from your sin, then you, then you can say this prayer. You have to mean it, though. You have to sincerely mean it from your heart. And you have to be willing to repent and turn from those sins. And the Holy Spirit will help you. He'll give you power to conquer sin if you try hard, you know? And Jesus just wants to know that you're trying. So, if you're ready to come to Him, please pray this prayer or something like it. You can just say something like this. You say, you say, Father, I recognize that Jesus Christ 
is your son and I recognize Jesus Christ is the Savior of the world and that he died for our sins on that cross to pay he, he died for our sins on that cross to give us the gift of eternal life and father i ask that you would forgive me of all my sins and i ask that you would let jesus come into my heart right now and be the lord of my life and guide me along the way that i should go and i want to live for him now father i want his will to be done not my will to be done and, and I ask you to come into my heart right now, Father, Lord Jesus. And if, if you say that prayer, I'm sorry, I'm getting very distracted here by the stuff going on around me. Um, if you say that prayer right now, then you are a child of God right now, right this minute. The Holy Spirit has come to indwell you right now. And get a Bible and read your Bible. Try to find a good church. Read your Bible and draw close to Jesus. Talk to him. You don't have to say some stiff, formal prayer. He doesn't want you to. What he wants of you is to speak to him like you would speak to your best friend. Okay? Talk to him. Confide in him. Confide your worries, your troubles. And also make time, ask, him, ask him for help to guide you the right way. Also spend time to just praise Him. Praise Him and thank you. Thank Him for the good that He's done in your life, for the blessings that you have received. The more you have a grateful heart, the more blessings He'll, he'll um, pour out upon you. Okay? Uh, we need to thank Him for our blessings each day and spend, spend time in praise and thanksgiving. Okay, but draw close to Him. The, the Bible says if you draw nigh to Him, He will draw nigh to you. The closer you draw to Him, the closer He's going to draw to you. And the quicker you'll heal. The quicker your whole life would heal. Every aspect of your life. And the quicker that you're going to, He's going to pull you out of that low self-esteem and that empty feeling. Okay, the, the harder you run after Jesus, the more he's going to work in your life and the quicker he's going to work in your life. And you will see the mighty works of the Lord Jesus Christ in your life. And you'll be so blessed for it. I can't even tell you how blessed you'll be. So God bless you guys. Please pray for him. Okay, please pray for the, this person. They need your prayer so badly. God bless you guys. I love you all.